opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal. So in this uh, theorem, I'll explain you how to prove opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal, right? So first of all, your given data is so given information in a parallelogram A B C D. So this is the parallelogram. So vertex A, B, C, and D. So according to the properties of parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel, right? So there is a given data. So we can take the stepwise parallelogram A B C D. A B C D, in which A B is parallel to C D and other pair. So this is A D is parallel to B C, right? So when you see A B is parallel to C D and A D is parallel to B C. Okay. So this is the given data. Now we need to prove. So we have to uh, require to prove is here. So we have to prove opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal. So opposite sides here AB is equals to CD and AD is equals to BC. Okay, these opposite sides are equal. I need to prove. And some small construction we need to do here because actually this concept of this proving opposite sides in a parallelogram based on the congruency rule. So we will prove two triangles in congruent, then we'll uh, prove the theorem. So your construction is because it's only single parallelogram. If I join one diagonal, join A. To C, so A and C I'm joining, then it form a two triangles. So observe here from A to C. So AC is joined. Now ABC is a triangle and ACD is another triangle. So this is the construction joining A and C. Then we can prove. A proof. This is what we need to prove. So this is a being starting the proof now. So opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal. We need to prove, right? So when you compare these two triangles, if I prove ABC is a triangle and ACD triangle both are congruent, then corresponding sides are equal. That means AB equals to CD. Okay, here, yeah, AB equal to DC and BC equals to AD. That means I need to prove first of all ABC triangle and ADC triangle are congruent. Then according to CPCT, there is a corresponding parts of congruent triangle. We can conclude that opposite sides are equal. So, two before starting the proof in triangle ABC. And CDA in triangle CDA. So from this both triangles we have <coughs> angle. Okay, mention the angles. Here is two angles and here is two. So this is angle one, two, three, and four. So when you observe here angle 1 and 2 are equal. So just to see angle 1 and 2 are equal because AB is parallel to BC and AC is a transversal. So alternate angles so because uh, AB is parallel to DC and CA is a transversal. So alternate angles are equal. <coughs> so angle 1 is equal to angle 2. That we can write. So angle 1 is equals to angle 2. So reason is alternate angles.
because AB is a parallel to CD and CA is transversal. So that is a transversal, right? Okay. And similarly, other two like angle four and three. That means angle three is equals to angle four. This three and four also same alternate angles, but here AD is parallel to BC. So alternate angles AD is parallel to BC. If AD is parallel to BC and same AC is a transversal. AC is a transversal. So AC or CA. This is a transversal, right? And one more thing is a AC is a common side for both triangles. And AC is equals to AC. AC and CA. So both are same. We can write AC is equal to AC or we can write A to C or C to A. Both are same. AC is and CA. This is a common side, both triangles. Now two angles and side using this three therefore triangle a b c is congruent to triangle c b a that we can take a as c a so angle side angle axiom so based on this angle side angle axiom we can conclude that a b c is a congruent to CDA. When two triangles are congruent, then according to CPCT, corresponding sides are equal. So we can conclude that since uh, these two are congruent, then AB is equals to CD and BC is equals to AD. This is CPCT. So corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So we already studied in previous classes. So CPCT, corresponding parts of congruent triangle. So when two triangles are congruent, then corresponding parts are uh, corresponding sides are in same ratio, but they are congruent, right? So they are equal. Then you can conclude AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC. Right? So we can prove in this. This is a theorem. So if you understand the which two triangles you need to prove congruent, then it's very easy. Then how to prove the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other? Also, I'll explain now.